Alrighty, we're recording. So hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video and we're gonna check out Insane Power. He is the one to beat Nagao and Jones. John Bones Jones, obviously. Anatoly Malkin. Where is he from? Never heard of that name. This is gonna be interesting. Gone because I think we're tired. Look at him. Oh, he's really not. I got Anatoly Malikin is not well known among casual MMA fans yet. But that doesn't stop this no. heavyweight machine from dismantling his rivals, both in striking oh, and on the ground. <laughs> The Siberian like bear not... claimed the prestigious heavyweight belt in the one champion. This is Siberian? And then dropped down a weight class to take the second strap from the double champion, Rainier de Ritter. Russian flag. It's time to pay homage to the undefeated fighter with a 100% finish rate. Who can Russians definitely be... give top UFC heavyweights a run for their money. Spasiba. Malikhin was born in Siberia, Russia, in the city of Kemerova. His grandfather enrolled him in freestyle wrestling in fifth grade. Training in the discipline, Malikhin would medal at the Russian championships repeated. See, wrestling is good, but like, I don't like, you know, see the blood and stuff that you see. In order to make a living, mm. it only made sense for the 28-year-old wrestler to venture into MMA. Mm. Anatoly didn't wait too long and made his debut in Where the, the money, sport right? in September of 2016. From the very first seconds, it was evident how things would unfold. Malikin landed a takedown and pounded the opponent to the floor. This simple yet effective fighting pattern will be his trademark for the time being, until the former wrestler finds a striking coach. A lot of people start there with wrestling and then they work their way He would march over forward to. with punches. Then take the action to the, the map. Technique with the grabbing. And cave the enemy's head in with sledgehammers. Yes, 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 yes. In 2017, Anatoly won the amateur world championship by finishing all four opponents. <laughs> then signed a contract with a prominent Russian promotion, GTC. In March of 2018, Michal Vlaslo from Poland tested his luck Michal. against the Siberian bear. Poland, Kohamchik. Hungry Malikin didn't play around. <laughs> grounding the adversary and quickly depriving him of oxygen. Oh. Tap out. Yeah, tap out. Yeah. The successful oh career start allowed the prospect to spend more time in Thailand, particularly at the renowned Tiger Thailand. Muay Thai Gym. This mm. country became his main training destination for the upcoming contest. At the GTC and Fight Nights co-promotion event, Anatoly faced the experienced Baga Agaev. Malihin threw some shots at the feet and scored a takedown from the clinch. Judges decided that uh, that was not the fate. Fa Immobilizing the rival with a crucifix, he got the tap with an Americana lock. Oh, Ooh, the arm. It was his fifth win and his fifth first round finish. Anatoly's year of 2019 began with a serious challenge in the face of Jake Hune. Known as the Honey Bear, the American Honey competed bear. in two seasons of The Ultimate Fighter and had some wins in WSOF. Oh, That's it. That is it. Nonetheless, the script hardly differed from Malihin's previous performances. Mm. Whoa. Following a spectacular slam, the Siberian bear took side control and got the job done with a Kimura for the sake of variety. <laughs> Malihin gradually climbed up the ranks and soon found himself facing the multiple time kickboxing world champion, Alexei Kudin. The Belarusian striker also had three dozen MMA. Wow, the landscape, not to change subject. Wow, what a beautiful landscape. Okay, focus now, focus. Bouts. Despite his extensive experience in shucking wrestlers off, Kudin got taken down within 30 seconds. However, he was the first to keep his arms safe from the patented Kimura. 
and even managed to get up from under the, the concrete family. slab. Thus, Malihin heard the bell sound for the first time. After the break, he continued to press, swiftly secured a power double, established strong control from the back, and left the referee with no choice. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, it's too many hits. Hello! At GTC 7, the promotion signed Anthony Hamilton, a veteran with 10 UFC fights. The showdown fell through due to visa issues, and Lucas Alcino, with a record of 7 and 1, stepped in as a replacement. Malihin fired a left overhand, clasped his hands around the waist, and took the Argentinian on a voluntary compulsory tour of the cage. When the initial Kimura attempt failed, the Russian pounded a couple nails and switched to an Americana. Alcina's sub defense was a point, arm with that. so Malihin had to dust him off the crucifix. Oh my god. Malihin scored three wins in the span of a year. But the level of opposition wasn't high enough to unveil his true potential. He wanted to test himself overseas, but no offers came from the UFC. Luckily, the fast rising promotion Why? one called just in time. <laughs> Anatoly's grand plans were foiled by the pandemic. He spent one and a half years without a fight and returned to the cage in February 2021. His opponent was Alexandre Machado, Sheesh. a veteran of M1 and Tough with four bouts under the one banner. They're, they're like bears, like they look so strong. The Siberian improved his striking like in Thailand, brick. which allowed him to apply intelligent pressure on the feet like and bricks. fend off the takedown attempt with ease. Grabbing a back body lock, he dragged the counterpart to the ground and surprised with punches from an unexpected angle. Position, but good balance so far showcased by Molly. Next came the crucifix and a prolonged torture with a series of strikes. That crucifix position is a bad spot for Machado to beat. Helpless Machado tapped with about a minute left in the round. Come on, I get a headache. Oh my, I cannot watch this. And there it is. After that, a happy Anatoly conquered the fans' hearts with his post-fight interview. My friend, one second. My English little bit. No, three months in my English now. Ure. He didn't hide his desire da, to da, face da. Ali Akbari, <laughs> the world champion in Greco-Roman wrestling. The Iranian heavyweight was banned for life from amateur sports due to repeated doping violation. Oh, Iranian? I'm half Persian. My dad is from Iran. Okay. And subsequently switched to MMA. Malihin prepared for this bout with a new manager, his wife, who immediately negotiated new financial conditions for the family and changed her husband's nickname to Slodki, meaning sweetie. Okay, <laughs> okay wifey, handling Anatoly business. Anatoly appreciated the new Stays nickname the family. and started That's good. feeding the foes with sweets right away. <laughs> <laughs> nice right hand landed by though. Nice exchange right Keeping him on edge at all times, Malikin choosing his shot. Malikin launched ballistic missiles, a big fella from Iran. Overhand right. and one of them hit the target. He just got caught by Kang Ji Wong the last time oh, he saw he him, but he got caught again. He got caught again. Aye. Following the knockdown, Alek Bari remembered his wrestling background, but lost the position nonetheless. Receiving knees to the head, which are perfectly legal in one. Oh my God. When the athletes finally disengaged, Malikin calibrated the big left. You said that I'm a lefty. The big left. Amir, sweet dreams. Now it's gone because I think he's tired. Look at him. He's, oh, he's real getting fast. lit up again. He gets dropped. The big kibosh. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. With blazing guns prohibited by the Geneva Convention, Anatoly scored his first career KO on the feet. Oh, he's getting lit up again! He gets dropped! 
During an interview, the league's boss promised him a title shot, but the official announcement kept getting delayed. The belt holder, Arjun Buller, insisted that it's up to him to decide who'd be the next challenger, rejecting several offers on the basis of time schedule. While the management tried to deal with the champion's whims, Anatoly was posting viral videos on social media. Arjun! Arjun, the Russian not only teased his future opponent, but also the top Brody, UFC heavyweights. Brody, These bad boys got tired after the first five minutes. Brody, Their cardio sucks. They aren't breathing. Buller never signed the deal in the end, so the matchmakers introduced an interim belt, which was contested between Malikin and undefeated Kirill Grishenka. The Belarusian came in with a 5-0 resume, including two victories in one. Hmm. Molihan was light on his feet. You're there. Good jab, and he's coming. Through heavy haymakers. Go. Left, right. The right hand, if it did, it had some of the sting taken out with it by that backward movement from... And countered a naked low kick with a takedown. Of... Grishenko touching him though. Grishenko managed to tie him up and get him to the end of the round without taking major damage. We'll scramble out of this. You know he's keeping the close guard. Mm. The Siberian kicked off the second frame strong with a signature left hook. And take a little bit of the oh. gas tank. And charged in for the finish. Big jab, no need to fight here. That guy's good with the defense. The adversary tried to evade the juggernaut's attacks, mm -hmm. eating massive lead hands. Tiger Muay Thai doing a lot of things to the side of Grishenko's head. But he seems to take a punch well, doesn't he? Up the cuts from Grishenko. Nevertheless, Mullihan kept the pressure on and surprised Grishenko with a huge right out of nowhere. Oh, we got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, look at the rest of <laughs> Flying over. Mm. A rare double backhand with a stance switch caught Grishenka off guard. Yep. Couldn't see that one. Filled with emotion, 34 year old Anatoly fell down to his knees in the center of the cage, holding the belt. Undoubtedly, he had put in a tremendous effort for this moment. Mm. Then Malihin took the microphone, thanking everyone who helped him on his path to the title, calling Buller a chicken. Bro, Orjan Buller, my baby chicken. And finishing it all off with a killer phrase in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> the long-awaited showdown with Buller was scheduled for September 29th, 2022. However, the champion pulled out once again. Why? The reason cited was a surgery he underwent at the end of August. Disappointed, oh. Malihan immediately approached the higher-ups and requested that Buller be stripped of the gold to get the division moving. One decided to give Buller a third chance and offered Anatoly a light heavyweight bout against double champion Rainier de Ritter. The Dutch grappler with a record of 16-0 was an expert at knitting spider webs on the canvas, mm. from which helpless victims never returned. It's time. The time's going to sleep. Malihin went on a diet and successfully made the one light heavyweight limit of 225 pounds. Sweetie stuffed a takedown attempt with ease. Ritter immediately trying to get this thing to the ground. Good defense. And then treated his Dutch friend with a right hand. Be a key weapon here in the stand up. Oh, he caught it. He took a shot. He took a hit. Ritter had no intention of exchanging in the stand up. Fall. Nice little duck under there by Ritter. But all his efforts to take it to the mat proved unsuccessful. Good sprawl. And resulted in brutal punishment. To the right from Malikin. Yeah. That night, the Russian bear's tenacious paws never let go of the prey. Somebody's always about to go. Nice body angles, all the levels. Mm, the low hit. Oh, the low punch be hurting. It looks right now. They're right above us. <laughs> so the Asian remake of The Revenant lasted less than five minutes. Anatoly Malyukin has got two hands that are like anvils. And that's when they're not moving at you. Oh, that's it. That's it. He's full. I heard that one. I yeah. Hello, ref. Oh my God. Mullihan winded him with a body shot, followed up by a sweet overhand to the head, oh, you guys and then solidified low. the second belt with a bunch of hammer fists. A Hollywood-style walk-off is attached.
This is a world champion? The title unification bout against Arjun Buller eventually took place on June 23rd, 2023. The heavyweights met in the ring at the legendary Lumpini Stadium in Thailand. Malikhin applied pressure right away. Arjun Buller, of course, has told us that all week. Name of Malikhin. Oh, right hand. Persistently utilizing kicks. The past couple of years, very good defensive boxing to shut down the offensive power. We haven't had a loss yet, right? And working the body diligently. Yeah, he looks way more sharp. He been waiting. The uppercut was especially effective. Buller was backing up and looking to land a nasty counter. Yeah, he's dominating. Was far from impenetrable. He's controlling. In the third round, Malihan upped the aggression totally and rushed control. in to get the finish. Go for the right. Dragging the opponent to the mat, the he unleashed the devastating technique. ground and pound, forcing the ref to step in. The undisputed double champion oh. decided to commemorate a fighter and a judge from one promotion who had recently been deceased. Today's not a day for mm -hmm. celebration. One has lost two incredible people, and I'd like to dedicate this victory to their families. Mm -hmm. We should honor their memory with a moment of silence. Ooh, I got chills. Tired. Look at him. Oh, I, saw how he, I saw how he cried. Oh, let me let me just finish. What Despite he first trying oh, MMA at the age of 28, Anatoly Malihin oh. quickly transformed from a tough ground and pound wrestler oh, into a knockout machine. That's when not moving. Oh, Although one appreciates his entertaining style and willingness to scrap with anyone, we still may see the Siberian bear in the UFC. In any case, it's bound to be intriguing to follow the journey of this uncompromising heavyweight with a sweet nickname. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, I'm surprised what UFC haven't signed him. Do you guys have any good reasons for it? Uh, he definitely seems like he is deserving of it. And then when they bring up Nagao and Jones, though, hmm. I don't know. He he seemed fearless though, and a hard cookie to crack. Like like so compact in his moves, but at the same time, you cannot really. He did like unexpected things, uh, so you have some special technique there, not just the strength. Uh, from what I've seen, I never seen him before. This is the first time, so uh, let me know if you guys heard of him. And what do you think? How old is he now, by the way? I don't, I'm don't. i not sure how old this video is, but do you guys think we're going to see him in the UFC? If they haven't already signed him, let me know. But appreciate you watching, though. And like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Bye. Yeah.